So it seems like everyone in disc golf, including myself, is kind of obsessed with overstable approach discs. And it kind of feels like at this point, I've tried them all. I like some, I don't like others, except for one company. We're talking about Doomsday Discs. So after receiving a few comments on one of my recent videos, I finally decided to give them a try. I picked up the crisis, the existential crisis. I picked up two of the Area 51s, one in kind of a glimmery, uh, sea lion style plastic and then another area 51 and kind of a base a little bit softer style plastic as well so today's plan take these three discs play nine holes figure out which one of them is my favorite and figure out if doomsday discs makes an overstable approach disc worth putting in your bag and to make things more fun i picked up a gloom doomsday discs beadless you know p2 style putter creator of Frisbee club, the man, motherfuckers. The, the man, the myth. Nine holes. We throw all three off of every tee. We put them all out and we see which one wins. After the video, I'll give you my thoughts. Oh my. <laughs> it feels straight into the tree route. Okay, that's a disc I can work with. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, the existential crisis got the the first throw of the day and uh it was not very good so let's see if we can give it some respect on the <laughs> well we got to save a par for the old crisis here the area 51s take the lead we're gonna go backhand on this one try and hit them on a little fan grip flex Okay, I should putt a little short. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah. One thing I'm kind of noticing right away from these discs, they don't seem to have a ton of glide. Obviously they're brand new, but when you throw a disc like a Tempo, which I would very closely compare to the Area 51, is that the Tempo glides, it goes really far. And that's kind of why I actually don't like it. It almost just falls into that mid-range category. Whereas if I can get a disc with the same depth, very low profile zone feel, uh, that doesn't go as far, that could be money. Yup. Oh. Crisis grabs a stroke. Nice little forehand here. Right up the tunnel, premium A51. Yo, skipper. Go in. <laughs> God, that is beefy. Try and get the air shot. That thing's kind of beefy too. So the Crisis has some beef. The base plastic A51 has a lot of surprising beef. I keep throwing it like it's gonna be the straightest one out of the three, but I think the premium one is actually the straightest. Big time crisis putt right here. Broad, come on brother. If we can snag this one, we start three for three. We're only one down with the other two. Yes, there it is. Woo! So the premium A51. Feels good. It actually has the slightest dome to it, which I don't necessarily love, but it definitely has the straightest, like pushiest flight out of the three, which for me is always going to be my favorite flight characteristic. Oh. Yeah, dude, that's a, that's a solid flying Frisbee. Oh. I still like can't bring it, like actually, that's a really good shot, but it wasn't what I wanted. It's so much more stable than I'm expecting. Oh my gosh. I gotta make a putt from the crisis, put some respect on its name. I also think I gotta start flexing it a little bit. The Heiser shot is not working. It is a beefy disc. Uh, kinda seems like a, maybe a slower A2. Uh, larger diameter. There it is, let's go. What? 
premium A51. We're keeping it honest, I guess. One other thing to note real quick, this is 179 grams, larger diameter. So probably gonna fight the wind really well. Oh, God, that thing is so beefy. I really don't have much of a chop over forehand. So it's not gonna be crazy Annie on that, but I thought it'd at least push. Oh God, see, that's why I don't throw flex shots. Oh, go in the hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna say the premium A51 is my go-to already, but it is. <laughs> so a lot of the times, if I get a new disc, and I can throw it on my natural hyzer flip throw, and it works right away, I can make that disc work pretty fast. When it comes to discs that don't fly well on my, my stock throw, those are the ones that you know I need a little bit longer to kind of figure out. Clearly, the two that are way more stable uh, I'm just not quite hitting them right. Got to learn the discs, obviously. But let's see if we can make a putt here. Keep things, keep things close at least. Oh, just a touch short. Whew. That might have been out of frame and back in. Thought I hung it a touch too much. And just like that, the premium A51 grabs another four down, three down. Two down with the base. Hole number six, basket straight out there. No forehands on this one though. We're gonna go backhand turnovers, kind of see how they pan out. Pretty good. Hold it? Yeah, yeah, see? And then base A51. Wow! It's just so stable. Man! Come on. Uh, I think we got three down for the Crisis, two down still for the base plastic A51. Basket straight ahead. Gonna try and hang these ones up kind of over this net, nice and high. And you see how they crash back. Did I get it there? Okay. Oh God. Oh my gosh. That's fucking disgusting. Well, Brad, it's time for you to make a damn putt. God. Wow, look at that. Horrible throws, all birdies. We're gonna just throw some nice, smooth backhands, see how they fly. Yeah, so that premium A51, I think definitely fits that zone SS, kind of beat up zone or like tempo, uh, a5 spectrum a5 category a little pushier a little straighter see how much more stability that base has didn't go as far parked so it's solid it's not bad it's just like i i mean it took me the whole video to basically figure out the stability of it crisis we're gonna try and hit this flat Yeah, that should be another star frame, hopefully. So to answer the question of, are Doomsday Discs worth bagging? Their, their approach series, to be specific. I'd honestly say yes, I'm pleasantly surprised. Also, these come at a great price point for the base, $8.49 is what I got it for, for the premium, $14.99. So a little cheaper than most companies out right now. And uh, you know, for some people, the price is really what's gonna make or break something. And I don't blame you. The plastic feels right in line with everything else on the market right now. Uh, I don't really think there's any companies out right now that have any plastic that are really going above and beyond. I think overall, it's all very similar. I'm super excited to see how this base plastic one beats up. This might actually have a little trial run in the bag just to kind of be that hit and stick style, you know, like lumpy zone. So could be a fun one. We got one more hole, clearly. The premium A51 is my money maker. Nice and straight, very similar to a tempo. Might not go quite as far. Uh, similar flight characteristic to like a Spectrum A5. Very straight, pushy, overstable approach. Very similar flight out of this, but right at the end just dumps left much harder. And then the Crisis, this is one I feel like I didn't quite figure out today. It's 
it's beefy, you know? Uh, it's a weird one because it's a little bit larger diameter, 179 grams as well. So I bet it's probably an, an amazing wind fighter. I'm just gonna throw nice forehand hyzers. Keep them honest here. Go in. <laughs> I need to hit some trees with that, but I like it also. Just a hog. Go in. Oh, pinned it. Four down with the base A51. Eight down with the premium A51. And I think we got a six down with the crisis. That's pretty much gonna do it, guys. Doomsday discs. Doomsday, if you're watching and you want me to try anything else out, let me know. Happy to. Uh, unfortunately, guys, Power Grip USA does not carry Dooms Disc. Come on, guys. But they do carry pretty much everything else, as well as many new drops coming this week. A lot of new MVP stuff. Unfortunately, I don't think the MVP stuff works for a code. That's on MVP. They don't let you discount their stuff. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. But if you're looking to support me, guys, head over to powergripusa.com. Use code Broderick10. It's going to save you 10% off. It's going to support me directly as well. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I did. Uh, it is currently 10 a.m. I'm in Utah. It's supposed to be like 106, 108 today. My camera already overheated multiple times. 10 a.m. It's going to be a struggle here making cinemas for the next month or so. But we'll make it happen. Uh, let me know down below if you want to see a full comparison of these discs with like, I'll bring out my zones, I'll bring out an A5, I'll bring out a tempo, I'll bring an A2, and just kind of go out to the field and really just compare them all head to head, show the flight characteristics of them. I think that could be interesting to have, just so people kind of know what to expect out of these Frisbees. Let me know if you'd be interested in that. Thanks for watching guys, we will see you in the next one. I kicked up, rolled onto the sidewalk. Didn't like hit it. Might, I might need to try that, that putter out of the throw. Kind of solid. We can work about party. Bundled up and go down. And right here, I have a frisbee bag. It holds all my frisbees, the ones I like. <laughs>